All right, thought we'd do a quick uh, drill hacking guide. So, dead drill. Right, there it is. Reverse thread screw. Keep that, don't lose it. Now I'm getting the chuck off. This is a big ass Allen key. So, uh, anti clockwise. Sometimes that's hard. Especially with an old drill like this. Good to hang on all these screws. Alright, don't need that or that. Might as well hang on to the screw, that could come in handy for some other projects. Put that in the junk box. Another big washer. And then there's little ball bearings in there, so tip them in a junk box. So now it's just on doing these screws. Okay, now all you gotta do is tap some grub screws into these holes. Uh, five mil grub screws fit nicely. So if you've got a five mil tapper, tap that out and put your grub screws in and you just need one, two, three, four. You don't need eight. Any four. You don't really need to start the start the hole. So now, uh, four more of them. Okay, that is ready now. So now all you gotta do is get a hub and whack a wheel on it. And you gotta tap your hub with a, is a 3 8 UNF or an 85 drill that's what it says on here anyway if you need to match these up once you got your robot together you just um, you might need to just adjust them um, each grub screw on each rope each motor if one's spinning a bit faster than the other so uh, just to get them uh, even. To clamp your wheel onto these, you're gonna need a, a washer. This one's about 32 mil wide and a 10 mil um, hole in the center. So slide that on here. And then you need another one of those washers with a uh, seven mil. Yep, seven mil, and that'll hold, and then the, that'll go inside the. Um, that'll be held down by the backwards thread screw. Right, so now we've got. This is an old robot that I've got out just for an example. Um, so we're just going to shove a um, stainless steel hose clamp through those two holes cut inside there so yeah that is sort of down at five mil and then it's got to cut through there and then we're just going to slip this hose clamp through there and attach the motor that way
Alright. So once we attach the other motor at the other end, stay like that. You probably like put a bit of tin with another hose clamp holding those two together. And uh, all you gotta do then, shove on the so this has been ground down a bit there so it's the right thickness. So that these two um, these two washers will press the press against each other and clamp the wheel. Show it on there. Reverse thread screw goes in, and you probably put a bit of uh, Loctite on there or something just to secure it when, once you're all happy. So there, there it is, sort of side on. So you, this one's hopefully invertible. So now it just needs the um, ESCs put in there, your receiver, your battery, and then you're ready to roll.